Hello dear students, my name is Gulzat Aliyeva and uh, today I want to suggest for you a new topic Dialectics as a conception and a philosophical method of cognition or knowledge Traditionally today also I will start our lecture from lecture plan So you see um, our lecture consists of two main chapters or two main parts and every chapter uh, includes some uh, topics and during lecture I will try to um, explain the meaning of every topic the first uh, chapter of our lecture is named the philosophical methods of cognition or knowledge and the first uh, topic or the first chapter is uh, the concept of uh, scientific method and its types what is method Method in Greek, methodos, way, knowledge, it is a kind of tool uh, with the help of which the object is cognized. Uh, method is a set of correct ways to achieve a goal and effective instrument for solving problems. Method's main function is the organization and regulation of um, activities. In modern science, there are three main groups of methods. Philosophical methods like metaphysics and uh, metaphysics and dialectics, general scientific methods like analysis and uh, synthesis, um, induction and deduction, etc., and private scientific or special methods like medical methods, method of economics, etc. Uh, the second topic is named uh, metaphysics as a philosophical method. Uh, as already said above, uh, the, there are uh, two main forms of the philosophical methods, metaphysics and dialectics. What is the, what is the difference between these uh, philosophical methods? Uh, metaphysics in Greek, metaphysics uh, means behind the nature. So it, could, uh, it is a branch of philosophy which investigates the first source of being, previous condition of uh, reality before material uh, nature. So in general, um, metaphysics belongs to religion because uh, the first source of being uh, or uh, uh, previous condition of reality before material nature uh, can be just creator or God. The main questions of metaphysics are what is the reason of reasons, what is the source of sources, what was the beginning of beginnings. Every question has the answer God, who never moves, changes and develops, but God always forces material things and phenomena to move, change and develop. In general, I told you above, in general metaphysics has a religious character. Uh, next topic is dialectics as a philosophical method. In Greek language, dialectic means uh, to discuss and techne uh, means art. So dialectics had arisen in ancient Greece in the 7th century BC as a way to find, to, uh, to find the truth by dialogue between two or more participations of a philosophical discussion uh, who, had, uh, who had opposite uh, opinions about the subject of discussion. So here you may see some... Um, uh, situation uh, which reflects uh, discussions between uh, ancient Greek philosophers. For example, interesting discussion of the ancient Greek sophists. In Greek language, sophistas means lie, sage. So, uh, sophists uh, as first lawyers and teachers sold their knowledge for a huge amount of money. And who was needed in knowledge of sophists and who paid a lot of money for these people? At that time, democracy, in Greek language, demos means people and kratos means power. So at that time, uh, democracy was de developing uh, rapidly in Greece and many, many citizens of Greek policies wanted to become uh, deputies. So polis means um, uh, state, uh, city-state. For example, let image um, 
Bishkek is the capital of Kyrgyz Republic. Uh, Kyrgyz Republic is enough um, big than uh, Bishkek, but during ancient uh, time in Greece, Bishkek can be uh, can be a, a, a big city. Uh, uh, Bishkek can be an uh, independent city. Also, around Bishkek, there are some cities, uh, cities like Tokmok or Karabalta. So, in the southern part of Kyrgyzstan, there are Osh city. So, Osh city, Bishkek city, um, Karabalta city, Khan city, they can be an independent cities. So, such form of city is named police. The Sufis taught them for future deputies to speak eloquently, uh, convince people, make beautiful but empty promises. People paid a lot of money for this. The main method of the Sufis was called sophistry or paradox. As what is sophistry? In Greek language, sophisma means a cunning invention. So sophistry deliberately distorts the essence of truth in order to show the philosopher witty. Paradox in Greek, uh, paradox means un, uh, unexpected, strange, uh, against, in spite, uh, also opinion, idea, assumption. In a broad sense, a statement, opinion, reasoning that uh, um, diverges from the generally accepted opinion and seems illogical or contrary to common sense meaning. Sophistry and paradox were the first method of philosophy and it resembled uh, philosophical riddles. These riddles did not have a def uh, definite answer, but they developed logic and tried to find the line between true and false, feelings and reasons, uh, quantity and quality, etc. For example, the sophistry or paradox why study was looking for the line uh, between feelings and uh, reasons. So I will uh, give for you this uh, sophistry or paradox. Uh, you should try to give uh, answer for this question. The more we learn, the, the, more we, uh, the more we know, the more we know, the more we forget, the more we forget, the less we know, the less we know, the less we forget, the less we forget, the more we know. Why study? So please uh, try to give some um, answer for this uh, question. Uh, the ancient Greek idealist philosopher Eubulides, um, the 4th century BC, thought uh, to substantiate the uh, falsity of uh, sensory uh, perception of phenomena and the impossibility of knowledge uh, as such. He is known for uh, his sophistry paradox, uh, paradoxes like liar, heap, bold etc so also i want to um, give uh, for you some interesting and philosophical uh, questions in the form philosophical riddles uh, try to give some answer for these riddles the greatest impression on contemporary uh, contemporaries was made by the paradox of Eubulites uh, liar so pay your attention, I want to ask from you. Is the person who claims I am liar telling the truth or not? So nobody forces him. Uh, uh, he said himself, uh, I am lying. So it is true or not? Uh, there is even a legend that a certain Philip, uh, the spirit uh, to uh, resolve this uh, paradox, committed uh, suicide. And the ancient Greek logis uh, logician uh, Diodorus Kronos, having vowed uh, not um, to eat until they found a solution to the liar, died uh, without solving the problem. At the beginning of the 20th century, the English philosopher Bertrand Russell paid attention to the paradox. In his formulation, it was the paradox of the island. So please pay your attention. 
uh, I uh, I want to ask some question which was uh, uh, which was suggested by Bertrand Russell. On the island they are uh, on the island where they live uh, knights who were always telling the truth this night and they always lying uh, squares. By the phrase, I will deceive and betray you, it is impossible to determine who said it, knight or square. In the he paradox, Jubilites ask the question, one grain is not a heap. So here, uh, if you add one grain at a time, from, uh, from when will be the heap appear? Because one grain is not a heap, uh, if we will add uh, step by step, so after which grain uh, the uh, heap appears. So uh, this paradox uh, is looking for um, the line between uh, quality and quantity. Another version of the par uh, paradox uh, attributed to Jubilite is known as the bold paradox. Having lost one hair, you still do not become bold. Losing a second hair too. When does the bold uh, head uh, begin? So if we will take out by one uh, hair, so after which hair person uh, can can be a bold uh, bold hat person the sophist uh, protagoras uh, claiming human is the measure of all things establish the relative principle according to the relative principle everyone has uh, their own truth for example one person likes tea with sugar uh, while the other loves to drink uh, tea without sugar. For example, I hate uh, tea with sugar. I like to drink tea without sugar. So, uh, which, which tea is um, uh, pleasant? Tea with sugar or uh, without sugar? So, I told you, everyone has uh, their own truth. Look at this uh, picture. So, uh, this number is 6 for this person, but for this person, this number is 9. Uh, so, that's why just because you are right does not mean I am wrong. You just haven't seen life from my side. According to, uh, according to Sophie's, the truth is what is uh, beneficial to me. Truth can be bought or sold. For example, a criminal can, can buy a judge who uh, acquits him by making the victim guilty. By uh, purchasing a grade, a lazy student may have better grades than an excellent student. What's uh, true today will be lie tomorrow. The ancient Greek philosopher Plato developed uh, dialectics as a method of uh, seeking truth. And the German philosopher Hegel developed dialectics as the doctrine of development and universal communication, the science of the most general laws of, the, of development of nature, society and thinking. In modern times, dialectics is a method of uh, argumentation in philosophy, according to which everything uh, in the world changes and develops by itself. Uh, so, next, um, <clears throat> our topic is uh, objective and subjective dialectics. Dialectics includes objective and subjective dialectics. Objective dialectics is the development and universal connection of the material world uh, uh, that exists outside of human consciousness. Objective dialectics is the dialectics of the real world, nature and society. Objective dialectics expresses continuous development and change, emergence and destruction. The foundation of objective dialectics were put by the ancient Greek philosopher uh, Heraclides, who said, everything flows and everything changes. 
today uh, for example mm, today it is uh, autumn tomorrow it will be a uh, summery uh, the world around us uh, is like a river that uh, cons uh, constantly flows and does not stop. You cannot enter the same river twi uh, twice because the second time uh, it is uh, another uh, water. Also, um, for example, you are 18 years old people, uh, but uh, next year you will uh, you will not be um, 18 years old people because uh, just during one year you can be 18 years old people. Tomorrow you will be um, 19 years old people. Uh, yesterday you were um, you were a newborn child or you were teenagers. So also like uh, outside world, your organism also always changes and moves. Subjective dialectics is a reflection of objective dialectics, connection and development of the material world in human consciousness. In fact, this is the sphere of consciousness. Subjective dialectics is a reflection of objective dialectics, dialectics of being in a person's head, in his consciousness. In other words, objective dialectics uh, uh, reigns in all of nature and subjective dialectics or dialectics, uh, dialectical thinking is only a reflection of the movement uh, dominating in all of nature through opposites. Hence, the dialectics of things uh, determines the dialectics of ideas. Uh, the fifth uh, to topic uh, of the first uh, part of our lecture is named uh, dialectic structure. The structure of dialectics consists of uh, three main elements, principles, categories and laws. So here you see dialectics. Uh, the structure of dialectics, so on the center is dialectics. So dialectics uh, has mm, three main elements, principles, categories, and laws. Uh, <clears throat> the second part of our lecture is named the principles of dialectics. And the first topic of the second chapter uh, is the concept of principle and the main types of principles. What is, uh, what is principle? The principle in Latin principium means the first is the basic and the starting position of any teaching, specific science, uh, scientific theories and laws or activity. Also the basic and start, uh, starting position of any legal documents and the norms of behavior in society. For example, doctor works on the principle of curing the patient and curing. The tractor works on the principle of uh, uh, diesel fuel. Uh, the vacuum cleaner uh, works on the principle of a vacuum pump. And the team works on the principle of all for one and one for all. There are a lot of uh, types and forms of principles. For example, uh, school principles are learning, respect, uh, leadership, uh, development, community, preparation, management, etc. So on these pictures you see um, some um, important principles of uh, uh, school. The principle has the following uh, four main forms, scientific principles, legal principles, uh, regulatory or normative principles, and principles of dialectics. Scientific principles are the main base or main construction of every science. For example, the principle of objectivity. No opinion plays a um, decisive role in science. This also applies to the opinion of scientific or other leadership, uh, authoritative scientists, public opinion, the opinion of state authorities. For example, uh, Isaac Newton, um, the, um, the famous English uh, uh, thinker, the famous English um, scientist, Isaac Newton said, Plato is my friend, Aristotle is my friend, but my greatest friend is truth. 
Uh, another example, uh, the principle of relative, uh, relativity is the basis on which, the, um, on which we shouldn't start our observations uh, of the world. This scientific principle could let the scientists to give um, definitions of such concepts as uh, reference system, speed of the physical body, piece of the physical body. Legal principle. According to this principle, constitution, laws, regulations, decrees, etc., important documents which govern the daily life of people, the interaction of citizens with the government and the state, should be created on the indication of legal basis. These principles include the principle of equality of all in front of the law, the principle of separation of powers, the principle of the presumption of innocence, the principle of legality, the principle of responsibility for guilt, etc. A regulatory or normative principles are total of norms and rules of conduct uh, which belong to such moral operators as should, may, perhaps, necessarily, true, false. Classic examples of uh, regulatory principles are um, the Ten Commandments from the Bible. The golden rule of morality is uh, treat people the way you want them to treat you. Close to this principle is Kant's categorical imperative. Uh, Bentham's principles of utility and action is true if it is uh, maximizes uh, total uh, utility. Uh, the principles of dialectics are the basic and the starting point uh, about the progressive changes in uh, being, which consist of interconnected elements and have an initial meaning for mental and practical activity. The principles of dialectics are formulated on the basic categories and laws of uh, dialectics in their uh, generalization. There are two main principles of dialectics, the principle of universal connection and development principle. But there are other principles of dialectics like the principle of determinism, the principles of uh, inconsistency, the principles of uh, quantitative and qualitative development of being, the principles of continuity, the principles of necessity, etc. These other principles are formulated on the basis of specific dialectical laws in the process of uh, cognizing uh, the essential as aspects and signs of change in being. So above, I told you there are two main and two important principles of uh, dialectics. The first is the principle of universal connection and the second is development uh, principle. So what is connection? Connection is a philosophical category which expresses the interdependence of the existence of phenomena separated in space and or in time, and also the relations between objects uh, manifested in the fact that the states or properties of any of them change when the state and properties of others change. Uh, the principle of connection is the general um, provision, requirement, recommendation, imperative, which expresses or covers all the um, variety of connections of being and is formulated in the judgment. In being, in the world, everything is interconnected. So here uh, you may see the map of uh, COVID-19. <coughs> So, you know, during a short time, under the influence of uh, the connection principle, uh, many countries and many people became the victim of uh, COVID-19 or coronavirus. Connection is a philosophical category that reflects all forms and types of correlation interdependence, mutual influence and interaction of objects and phenomena of the material world, sensory and logical image of uh, consciousness. 
Connection of being are combined into groups or classified by many reasons. The general class classification of connection is represented by the types of uh, nature of connection. The types of connection of being include connections of types of movement uh, like social connection, mental connection, biological connection, chemical connection, physical connection, etc. Also connection of forms of being being, for example, spatial in space connection, temporal in time connection, structural connection, functional connection, casual connection, etc. The nature of connection of being is represented by connections that determine the law or regular, uh, regularity and connections that do not determine the law or situational connection. Uh, for example, the relationships that determine the um, uh, law include internal, essential, necessary, stable, repetitive uh, connections, etc. The relationships uh, that do not determine the law uh, include uh, uh, external, um, insig insignificant, random, unstable, one-time, etc. forms of connection. The connection of being also characterizes the position of rest, peace and movement, uh, statics and dynamics, structure and development. Explanation of dialectical connections uh, make, if, uh, make it possible to determine the natural connection, the law. The principle of development, it is the second type of uh, dialectical principle. So the principle of development is a universal position, requirement, recommendation, imperative that expresses or covers all the diversity of being uh, and is formulated in the judgment. In being, in the world, everything develops. So, um, you know, even people also every day, every second we are, we are developing. So at first we were newborn child, then uh, we, um, uh, we will um, uh, pass some stage of uh, development and finally we can be an old aged person. Development is a philosophical category that reflects such a movement or change of being which goes from the past and present to the future, which has a certain direction, uh, irreversibility, a mechanism for uh, the emergence of a new one. It leads uh, to a change in quality, to the transformation uh, of an object into another state or another object. The principle, of <clears throat> the principle of development characterizes the progressive and necessary change of being, the emergence of the new and the withering away of the old uh, through the uh, transition from less to more perfect. Development is character, uh, characterized by the uh, presence of sources, driving forces or determinants uh, and mechanisms, continuity, direction and other signs. They are uh, concre uh, concretized in the laws and categories of dialectics. Dear students, it is now for this uh, lecture. Uh, thank you for your attention. Goodbye.